Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Wouldn't it be great if your Facebook events were in your normal online calendar? Online calendars are amazing things to have, but having multiple calendars often sucks. You say yes to an event on Facebook, but don't put it in the normal calendar that you use. And you don't realise until it's too late, and you or someone else has booked a clashing event. How cool would it be if your Facebook events automatically appeared in your online calendar of choice. It can be done, but it's not that friendly. But as always, I'm here to break it down step by step for you. And I have solutions for Google Calendar, Apple Calendar, Outlook, as well as Android and iPhone. Step one is we need your Facebook calendar address. This really took some hunting for. This solution works as at April 2021. Who knows when Facebook will change something and break it. If they do, and there's an updated video, have a look up here. And if there's a link there, you can follow that to the new updated video. What I'm about to show you works on the desktop version of Facebook. If you want to do it on a mobile, I've got to work around for that in a sec. It's worth noting that if the names look a bit odd in this video, it's because I'm using a test account, which generates a random Facebook name. So here we are in Facebook. What we need is the events button over on the left. Now it might be behind the see more button, but here's mine here. Next, we want to find your upcoming events and click see all. These are all of the events we're going to. Then we want to find the add to calendar button up the top right and then right click on it and copy link address. That will be the address that we'll want to put into the calendars. To do this on an iPhone, you need to open Facebook in Safari or Chrome. And then from the button beside the URL, request the desktop version. But this still doesn't give you the full desktop version. So you need to go and edit the address at the top and remove the M dot from before facebook.com. Now you have the full desktop version, not designed for small screens. Follow the same steps, click events, then in your upcoming events, click see all and then you'll have to pan over to the right find the add to calendar button and tap and hold on it and then press copy from the menu that pops up this gives you your facebook calendar address and this is what we need to make it work in your calendar of choice the first is google calendar this is my calendaring system of choice if you want to see my full episode about Google Calendar, have a look at episode 56 up here. Here we are in Google Calendar. To add the calendar, we go down the bottom left and go Other Calendars. We click Plus, and then From URL, and then we paste in the URL that we copied and Add Calendar. We now have the calendar with our Facebook name, and all of our events are now in a Google Calendar. If you're an Android user, then Google Calendar is your default calendar. So this will work for you as well. It seems the Google Calendar refreshes its subscription about every 12 hours, but it's not customizable. This seemed to work fine in the real world, although it did trip me up in testing. For Mac users, all of this is done in the Calendar app. This is the Apple Calendar app. Here we will go to File, New Calendar Subscription, and then paste in the URL and click Subscribe. Apple actually gives you a whole bunch of better options. You can rename the calendar, confirm where it's stored either on your Mac or to all of your iCloud accounts. Uh, you can optionally remove alerts and attachments, which I don't want to do. But you can change the auto refresh rate. I think every day is probably often enough. Click OK. Thinking, and there's all of our test events are in the calendar. It's as simple as that for the Mac. On the iPhone, you need to go to the settings app Scroll down until you find Calendar, then click on Accounts, 
then add an account. We want an other account and add a subscribed calendar. Then we paste in our link and press next. We don't need a username or password. I don't want to remove alarms. So we press save and it's done. And then all of our events appear in calendar. If you're an Outlook user, you can subscribe to the calendar in Outlook. In Outlook, we switch to calendar view and then find the other calendars area and right click on it. Then we want to add calendar from the internet and then paste our calendar link into this box and then press OK. This pops up another dialog box where we have the option to select some advanced options. We can change the name that the calendar is displayed as, give it a description, allow it to sync online with our Outlook, add attachments and change the sync frequency. I'm happy with the standard 12 hours so I press OK and then press yes. And as you can see, all of the events have popped into the calendar immediately. Our Outlook sync is complete. So now you have all of your Facebook events in your calendar of choice. Well done. Question of the day. Which calendaring system do you use? Have you added your Facebook events to your calendar yet? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel with the link down here, or our mailing list up here. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.